and welcome back to Retrospect My Fantasy, where we are currently taking a look at the Final Fantasy franchise from beginning to end, and we're currently working on installment number 10. Now, before we move on into the game, let's talk about our bonus stream and giveaway. To happen, we only need 10 more followers. Once we get those 10 followers, we're going to have a stream on a a typical day, most likely a Saturday, where I will be playing Telltale's The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. But not just playing a game, I'm also going to be giving away a copy of Telltale's The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, and a copy of Psychonauts. Oh, and these three $20 Steam gift cards. So, if you happen to know anybody that might be interested in what we're doing here with the Final Fantasy franchise... Or, they might be interested in what we're doing with any of the future franchises. Bring them on over. I mean, we've got a lot of games we're going to be taking a look at. Not only do we have Final Fantasy 12, 13, and 15 to look at, but then we've also got the Assassin's Creed series, Tomb Raider, Doom, um, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, The Shock, Bio and System Shock, Tropico, The Witcher, Wolfenstein, GTA, um, a whole bunch of the D&D based games, Star Wars Dark Forces, and the list just keeps growing, guys. So if you know anybody, bring them along and I'll do my best to keep them here. Now, last time on Final Fantasy X. Last time we made our way through the Trials of Beville, where we acquired the Summon Bahamut. Um, and afterwards, we found out that her... Uh, Afterwards, we were caught and sentenced to prison and a trial. I will not be playing 10-2. I'm only playing the main, the main line games. Um, so we skipped over um, after years. We're going to skip over 12. Um, we skipped over both of the side games to 7. What is it? Dirge of Cerberus and... Crisis Core, and we're also going to skip over 13-2 and 13 Lightning Returns. So we're only doing the mainline number games without doing the MMOs, because the MMOs take more time to complete than I think all the rest of the games that I have lined up. And I'm not just talking about the Final Fantasies. I mean, like, all the rest. Um, so... Um, but where was I? Oh, we were, we got sentenced and tried. Um, Yuna dropped the bomb that not only is Seymour dead, but he killed his father. And we found out that Seymour Micah is dead. The Seymour, or see, the Seymour. Did I say Seymour Micah? Maester Micah is dead. And that the, uh... Maester, who is a Ronso, is the only one who did not know of these, uh, of Seymour at least, uh, his revelation and the fact that he killed his father. Um, and we were essentially told that the world is better with Seymour Micah, or Seymour Micah, Maester Seymour and Maester Micah being dead because they have a lot of knowledge and wisdom that they can impart upon the world that we would lose if they were to die. And that this is how things work. Everything, and um, then we got thrown into an endless prison with no exit, except there's totally an exit. And it was actually not even like a labyrinth of any meaningful depth. And uh, we just fought some monsters and came out even stronger than we were before. Then we had to fight Seymour, who absorbed a whole bunch of dead people into himself, making him far stronger. And that was actually kind of a pain in the ass. After which we escaped uh, Beville and went into Makalania Woods, where we had a really awesome cutscene where Titus and Yuna made out underwater um, and expressed their love for each other in a more physical manner. Um, all the while... Kamari watched like a creeper 
and then we pushed forward and we are where we're at now so let's keep going oh okay here we go so this is the calm lands and uh Chances are strong, we're probably going to spend the rest of the gate today here. The road ends here. Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Many summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. I can see why. There's very little of a path to follow at this point. That was a really light fall, considering she just kind of leaned back. And the reason we're going to spend, if not the the whole episode, then I've the majority of it, known where to go. is because there's a lot to do here in the Calmlands. This is also the premier grinding spot until you get closer I, to the end of the game. I won't let you die. Find a way somehow. Don't make promises you can't you don't know you can't keep. Or rather that you don't know if you can keep. That was kind of an awkward lifting. Let's go. Alright, let's go. I told Yuna I would find a way. Yeah. Good call. Good I luck. Guess I wanted to believe that words could make it come true. This is a massive, massive area with F tons of stuff to do. And we will do as much. Ooh. Look at this fight. Hey here, puppy. Thank you. And then we'll bring. Riku in to dismantle that guy over there. This is also one of the few areas where there are enemies easy for everybody. So nobody nobody can really get left out in the uh, the battle arena. There's a lot of very good money. There's a lot of very good items. There's just a lot. All right, so let's bring in Orin. And then we'll bring in a Lulu. Ice. Who I'm sure soon enough will have uh, the Agas. I mean, we were pretty close already, so won't be difficult. I'm trying to think of everything. Not nah, so. There's some good treasure. Ooh, a chocobo feather. What could that mean? There's lots of enemies and they give, they have pretty good drops. Whew. Um, yeah, they've got good drops. We got a lot of good money. There's a shop here. There's uh, this is one of the few areas where you can do a whole bunch of stuff with Chocobo. In fact, it's kind of pivotal that you do a whole bunch of stuff with Chocobo here. Yeah! And he swings his fist around really hard for that. 
So you can see there's someone on a chocobo right over there. There's also just a lot of exploring to do here before we can really meaningfully push on. I mean, like, there's stuff to do if we really wanted to, but... Also, all the grenades we could possibly want. What's not to love? Let's end this. Sure thing. Huh. All I can think about whenever I see any spell do that now is the the Concho joke I made with Titan in four. Ooh, there's another person on a chocobo. Ooh. It's our favorite historian. Oh, come on, Titus. You can do better than that. Ooh, Firaga. Oh, that guy plays for keeps. Good, good, good. Um... There's a monster arena here. What else? What else? Uh, there's an Aeon nearby, which it is best to have tons of money for. Perhaps you would like to know a bit about these planes. Heck yeah. What a no, no, no. T talk to me. A battlefield. I just found that out. Great battle between Bavel and Zanakan, the melee of Machina. That war left this place a barren, lifeless land. Okay. Then time passed. As it does. The summoners took note of this uninhabited land. Great battles could be fought here with no harm to the common folk. In yes, indeedy. For a final battle with sin, as it were. And? Summoners wait here. Ready to perform the final summoning. Yeah, we don't have that. Ah, to know what they must feel. In any case, when sin is defeated here, the calm will visit Spira once more. That's why this place is now known as the Calm Lands. Exactly who dubbed it so is unknown. That's a shame. And that, as they say, is, is that. that. It's a shame that nobody knows. Hmm. Well, Lulu might take a dive here. We'll see. Oh, good, good, good job. All right, now. Oh, your A. In that case, we will pull Riku out. Thank you. And then we will pull Titus back onto the field to kill a pup. Plow. We should probably heal Lulu at some point. Also, this is just a side note. Is this the first Final Fantasy where we have no, absolutely zero Moogles? So be it. I mean, we have the Moogle doll, but that's it's so, not the same. Seconds. No, not the first. Because, obviously, one through four or five? F, now I can't remember. Didn't have any. But since then, Moogles have been a staple. Uh, Cactars have been around since the beginning. And Chocobos have been around since three. Or were they in two? 
Was that what they were writing on their escape? <gasps> no! Come on, man. I just wanted to catch a chocobo. What the hell's your problem? This one is mine. Uh, he's a fairy. Oh, they were in five. I just can't remember if they were in four now. Well, now I can't remember if they were in four. Let's use proper words. Uh, they were in five, and the reason I distinctly recall this is because, uh, what's her name? The little girl, uh, that you get on your team after Grandpa dies. Um, can speak with them telepathically. Which makes me think they weren't in four. Yep. Sorry, Lulu, that I almost killed you. But we really, really need you to be awake right about now. Yeah, I don't think Cecil and Kane and uh, Rydia ever had to deal with Moogles. Ren's Travel Agency, at your service, we offer fine wares at a reasonable price. Please consider making a purchase before crossing these vast plains. What do you got? Ooh, a memorable staff, or a malleable staff. Doesn't have piercing, though. Magic counter? Hmm. Nope, not weapons. Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Not really. You have. Um, numbers three and four are on are in the archive. Uh, a link to which can be found just a little ways below. One and two, the footage was lost. Um, I had to do a reformat uh, after I had played those, so unfortunately, that footage is now gone. Ah, what am I doing? Eventually, she'll be able to do that. Uh, which is all for the best, to be perfectly honest. Um... Because I was really rough uh, playing 1 and 2. Um, not playing in the, like, performing duties, but just being a streamer. I have improved greatly since then. Uh, not just in my technique and presentation, but also equipment-wise. Uh, uh, unfortunately, when it comes to, uh, <clears throat> one thing that developers like to do is they like to take a lesson forward from a game into, to try and better the franchise for the future, which is very admirable. Um, I certainly cannot deny the, their want to do so. However, in my opinion... They took the wrong lessons from 10, and we'll get to that. Believe me, there's a, a whole thing. And because of the development cycle of video games, of how that goes, 
by the time this game released, um, like hit hit, sh hit shelves uh, originally, <clears throat> Final Fantasy XII was already well into its cycle. So twelve actually has more in common with like seven, eight, nine. Uh, in terms of what they learned and what they were able to take forward than it does from 10. Uh, because of that development cycle, 10's biggest influence is on 13. And we'll see some stuff. That's Once we get there, we'll see a few things that uh, may or may not remind you of, of 10. I am... Yeah. Uh, in fact, on the archive, not only do I have my playthrough of... Going back to that little bit. Sorry, I just kind of jump around at these early part as I kind of settle in. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I also have not just... I have got three through last week. Yeah, I think last week is the last episodes that I put up on the archive. So there's there's a lot there. A whole lot. <laughs> um, I don't believe I set those up for ads. There might be... There might be some ads, but I receive zero revenue. I am not monetizing anything that's in the archive. So... Feel free to watch as much of it as you want. You're not you're not gonna pay me. I'm putting it up there as just kind of a service. Also, so that when I'm done with each franchise, when I do my effectively so what of the series, I have a bunch of footage that I can pull from for that episode. Very. Um, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 were made 84 and 86. That m Those years might be a little off. No. 80, 83 and 86? A long time ago. Um, number 1 is very... Dungeons and Dragons-esque. Um, but with a very, very simple story. Um, and number two is less Dungeons and Dragons with a lot more complex story. It is actually very good. Um, but the mechanics are very odd. And very, very different. Leviathan? Leviathan? Welcome. Zook. Long time no see. Who is Father Zook? You are Yuna? Hmm. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinox's murderer. I played the What's original uh, Nintendo versions because I don't own a copy of the PlayStation hey, versions. Tell us what has happened. Mr. Ooh. Micah just issued a personal order, you know. And it said that you and your guardians murdered Mr. Kinox and fled. Well, we are to kill you on sight. Kind so of. Says. What of Bavel? Um, Things are calm on the surface, and but the honestly, the additions the to the Kino PlayStation version, so uh, Final Fantasy Origins, Convenient. weren't getting around will be easier weren't to get that to good. There's some cutscenes, which are nice. But be careful, my friends. You but have they have to spin up and together. load. Every time you enter a menu, enter, every time you enter a battle, for the time being. you need to load up. Thank you, Father. It needs to spin and load. So... Father, you came all the way here just to tell us this? It's a lot slower. To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see this summoner you are guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. Thank you, Father. I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. 
Oh, that's awfully nice of him. There's a lot of small... Uh, I want to say, like, they bumped up the... Num they didn't actually bump up the, the resolution. But I want to say they bumped up the color count. Um, what else did they... Do I recall them doing... Obviously, there's the cutscenes, especially the openings. She's not stopping, is she? Yuna, she's made her decision. Um, but I can't just let but her they're, go. they're the same game. We won't have to. The big difference we'll is from the original the Nintendo but version how? of three up to the DS version of three. I'll think of a way. And um. Just kind of a preview of that episode. I it's always but this, but that. I was not happy with the art style. Let's think together. Okay. And if we can't think of something, we find another way. Okay. Messy. Riku. What is? Politics. Yevon, Micah, and Seymour are not of one mind. Remember what Seymour said last we met. <laughs> I do not think Micah will concur. Yeah, I don't think so either. Hey, Kamari. You're the only one I want to talk to. Gaga Zed is Ronso Land. Kimari home. Okay, cool. Hmm. Uh, hey, we might meet your family. Maybe. Kimari has no family. Uh oh. Uh, sorry. But Kimari not alone. Nope, you have a new family. When I was guarding Zook, I already told you this, yeah? About when I was too into the game to be a good guardian. So, when Father Zook said he wanted out, tell you the truth, I was kind of glad. Neat. So that was your first... Who was that? Until half a year ago, he was a summoner. Waka and I were his guardians. Neat. It's kind of a short pilgrimage. <laughs> How far did he, he get? Up halfway, here, on this plain. Oh, now this is the halfway he's point. A monk at the Bavel Temple. So, we are officially traitors then. What were you expecting? Hey, let them say what they want. We escaped from their super it's secret, okay. I'm not worried. torture prison dungeon murder funhouse, and then. Well, you know, we've Maybe just a little killed bit. one of their maesters twice. It's so hard not to be. And hey, we're easily you know, branded as the murderer of another one. Just yell. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I might just do that. Yeah. Ooh. Anything different? God, you guys need a better stock. Hey, Slade, how's it going? Ooh, holy water. Haha, <laughs> uh, having way too much money for your own good <laughs> in a Final Fantasy game. I think I need, yeah, all of that. I, yep, just keep it coming. Nope, nope, nope. Got the money, don't worry. Heck yeah. Oh, this terrible sickness, at least that we've got going around the Pacific Northwest, is... How do I say this delicately? Fucking horrible. Well, that's good. At least you've been distracted. I'm sure it's also terrible everywhere else, but uh, we have a lot of moisture in the air, so... Gotcha. Well... Serves you right for going to Japan and not taking me with you. That's all I'm gonna say.
All right, Kamari. Can you learn anything from these guys? No. Okay, got it. <laughs> Ow. Uh, okay, so... Lightning or Blizzard, then. Got it. Oh boy. This... Hmm. Time for some more potions, then. Second chance in Aqua Breath isn't so bad. But, you know, we've already got it, so... Oh, Oren. Why are you such an awesome, cool samurai, dude? Uh, please hit Kamari with Medigo Flame. God. You son of a bitch. Hmm. Yep, these guys got to keep got to keep my boys up. Ooh, she's the one that has Uh, sense on her weapon. Okay. Thank you. Come on, get enough to keep me alive. <laughs> Hopefully. That was very rude. Well, we'll get one at least. Woohoo! That could have been bad. Nope, don't need any of that. Come on, baby. Let's make it happen. You know what? Let's try, uh, let's try a little poison. Let's see, let's see how poison works. That poison works. All right. Now we've got an effective game plan for these guys, at least for until we get strong enough to actually just take them. I'll bet potions and poisoning. Seems like a good deal. Seems like actually just a pretty solid all around combination. Thank you. Orin with his girdle. Anything down over here? Oh, hey, what's... What's that? Hey there, Mr. Chocobo. I wish... I wish I could ride you. Ah, oh, shit. I will not fail this time. Okay. No. It's not Wark, it's Kwe. That's, that's all Chocobos have ever said. I don't care about what Final Fantasy VII thinks. It's wrong. Well, at least it's only Stona this time and not just Death. 
So that's that's something to be thankful for. Or rather, stone. Ooh, can we demi them? How well does that work on these guys? Not wonderfully. Dick move! Thank you. Now that we've only got the one, should be a lot easier. I hope. Oh no! You silenced my giant beat stick. What on earth will I do? Rough play and ninja something. Hmm. I think we need a chocobo to get down there. How dare you. Now I have to use this potion and heal everyone and get rid of my poisoning. It's just such a hassle. Hey, uh, let's see here. Titus, get in here. Kill this dog. Kill this really, really good doge boy. And then we'll get... There he is. Wrong one. Oh well. We'll take care of our robot mans. I wish Titus could do a thing, but you know, you don't always get what you want. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a chocobo to get down here. And I think it's actually, I was pointing at the screen again, and I think it's actually Way down at this other end near where that chocobo is standing. Ah, shit. A Wendigo. These guys are actually just pretty burl. No. Put your fists down. I'm not going to fall for it. Fine, we'll black magic you. Just put your fists down. Like, those guys just hit hard. They don't have, obviously, as you see, the Wendigo don't have a whole lot of hit points, but they hit hard. And I have such soft skin. Because I put the lotion on. Well, F me. Oh, these robot mans are on fire. Um... Hmm. Hey, Riku. Why are robots on fire? I don't like fire robots. Ooh, what? Oh, that's right. That will give mana to somebody. Um, silence? 
or you just can kill it. Okay. That works for me, too. Waka, good job. Oh, hey, it's you. Oh, you again. You're quite the notorious traitor these days. Hell yeah. What's it to you? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't take what the maesters say too seriously. I like this lady. For summoners, destroying sin is everything. We are no tools of Yevon. Understand? Yes. That was so, very brisk. Up to the task? I do not know, but I will do my best. You've got spirit, but you'll need more to beat sin. An Aeon duel. Show me what you're made of. Do you... Do you really... Excellent. Want to do this? We begin. I have literally beaten you every time. I've just healed your Aeons for... I... I'm just going to summon Bahamut. And you're going to feel really silly for bringing Shiva into this fight. Because I'm going to open with Mega Flare. What? Ah, that's fine. I'll still just punch you in the face a lot. I... It is Bahamut, after all. Select attributes in Aeon menu to raise the attributes of your Aeon. Use uh, use this to compensate for Aeon's weaknesses. By raising the, physical, the physically weak Shiva's HP, or increasing the usually slow Ifrit's agility. Sure. I'm just going to keep throwing these giant meat hooks in your face until I get my, uh, my ultimate. Which will be slightly before you get yours, so ha. I like Bahamut's attack method. Giant meaty fist to face. Alright. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I like winning. And, and Bahamut does that well. Muhammad is very good at winning fights. Stop. That is enough. Is it? Do you have any other chumps for me to fight? Because I can do it. <sighs> Impressive. Remarkable talent. Is it? Traitor or no, you may have what it takes to beat Sin. Take this. You have earned it. Aw, thank you. Oh, shit. I don't need that. That thank I do you. need. I think you will do just fine. But if you ever feel like you want more training, seek the hidden temple of Remian. I will be waiting there. Farewell. Ah. Allows you to raise an Aeon stats. Select attributes. Select the Aeon. Selected Aeon stats are displayed. Stats that can that cannot be raised are shown in gray. I understand how a UI works. You can spend spheres to do things. Alright, so... What are some of the uh, attributes that... Bahamut can raise?
I don't have any fortune spheres. Dang. Hmm. Don't have enough make. Damn. How many mega potions does it take to learn Cura? Really? Wait, can I revive someone who's unconscious and in the back? I don't recall. Shit. Well, there's a lot of stuff I need to work on. Because there's some stuff I don't recall. Hey, 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 how's it going, Mr. Albed, dude? I have a message from Sid. He says... Uh, we've gone to do repairs. We've gone to repair the airship. We'll come get you when they're done. Until then, keep you in a safe for... Or you will be sorry, kid. Aww. He remembers I'm a kid. At heart. Yep. Mm-hmm. A kid at heart. And totally not something else. Okay, well, might as well take care of the robot first. Ooh. Ouch. Hey, look at that. We successfully killed a small group of monsters. We're good. The only way to go is forward. That's not true. Waka, do you know that other directions exist? And that you live on a three-dimensional plane where there are six-dimensional coordinates. Technically seven if you count uh, time. Sorry, six spatial coordinates. Freeze. Sorry, that was my best Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze impression. I'm sorry for all of the, all of you fans of Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze for the horrible impression that I just placed into your minds. No turning back now, yeah? Dick move! Hey, Kamari. We need your help. Can you please dismantle a robot for me? And Riku, I now need you No. No. I thought I was a bad human being. <laughs> but you are a monster. What? How did that dog possibly dodge? I was kind of hoping you were going to come back with another Mr. Freeze pun there. 
somehow. But, uh... He disappointed me. Actually, no, that's... That's probably for the best. Uh, that is a good thing. I, too, have not seen it in a very long time. However, uh, one of my housemates... Um, always brings it up whenever we talk about <laughs> you know that's fair hey how did you know <laughs> It's almost like you know the people that I'm talking about. And that we may or may not know each other in real life. Alright. Everybody is all... Hey, you, sir, on the chocobo? Lost? Follow me and you'll get back to Bevel. No, that's... Not at all what I wanted. Hey, man. Let's get him, guys. I'll crash your boards from here. I'm talking about that real shit. I, sir, was quoting Johnny Mnemonic. When he enters the metaverse, or not the metaverse, what do they call it? The grid? Do they call it the grid in that? Because the metaverse is from the snow crash. God, what do they call it in Neuromancer and Johnny Mnemonic? Alright, so... This area right here, with these weird crow things. Uh, dragon crow thing. It's alive, by the way, but we never get to fight it. This is a training area that Lord Meehan constructed for the Crusaders. Awesome. You can hone your battle skills here by fighting fiends gathered from all over Spira. But the fiends all got away because I, uh... Screwed up. Yeah, pretty much. I'm too old to gather fiends now, so I'm in quite a fix. So that's where you come in, Sonny. Can I ask you to round up all the fiends for me? Of course, I'm not asking you to do it for free. This is the this is the good part. Fat rewards. Fat loots, boys. Get ready for those those purples and those oranges and those greens. And by greens, I mean not low-level items, but set items from, like, Diablo where they're green. As opposed to, like, I don't even know what color set items are in WoW. And to be frank, or surely, you can call me either one, I don't care. Cyberspace. In addition, any items you win during the training of yours, you get to keep for free. But there will be a small fee for each training session, so bear that in mind. How about it? Not a bad deal, eh? You won't regret it. I'll do it. That's a spare, Sonny. Now go catch all them fiends. Totally not gotta catch them all. Nope, definitely not. But I've got one more warning for you. Warning before I can let you go. 
To catch a fiend, you have to do with a you have to defeat it with a special kind of weapon. Uh, but do not worry, I sell them to you at a special low price. So, the Serena can only hold ten of each kind of fiend. There won't be any bonuses for capturing more, so keep an eye on your totals. I need you to start by collecting each speci species in the Calm Lands. I can't reopen the arena without having some fiends, you know. By the way, there's a total of nine species in the Calm Lands. I'll give you a bonus when you get them all. Oh, before I forget, you have to use a special kind. All right. We'll get one of each. And we need a lot more money, so... We've got a lot of stuff to, to build up to. Alright, so, that's the training grounds. Awesome place. Love it. Great way to make a lot of money slash get a whole bunch of items. And I probably just... Actually, we're not really quite strong enough to uh, really worry about that just no yet. Because we actually have to defeat it with the weapon. If we use magic... For instance, if we use uh, Lulu's and then use a spell, it doesn't actually capture it. We actually have to hit it. So actually, I don't know why I bought Yuna's or Lulu's. Or really Riku's for that matter. But whatever. It's fine. Alright, now where is the person that we need to talk to about Chocobo races? Because that, that's our next worry in quotes. Um, is doing the Chocobo races, of which I want to say there's... Three or four tracks? Tracks? Because I don't know what else to call them. I mean, they're not really tracks. They're not even really courses, for that matter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, these guys. These guys are a pain in the ass. Hey, Kamari. And then we can go ahead and bring... Let's go ahead and bring Titus in. There we go. If all you're going to do is punch me, then yeah, I'll kick your ass. Just like that. Uh, the reason I didn't go over to the capture weapons, even though weapons in these games don't... They're not... It's not as big of a deal in Final Fantasy X to have... Weapons don't make you as much as your stats do. Which is nice. But... A lot of our weapons have some... Slight bonuses that are nice. They by no means like make or break our characters, but you know, they're nice to have. Uh, 
Alright, so... Our next goal is to find... The individual who wants to race us with Chocobo. And we've really messed that guy up in a single go. Alright. Thank you. Probably should have done this to begin with, but whatever. Why not? Why not just make a Super Kamari who will open up this fight with um, an Albed Potion and then he's going to steal this guy's life because he wants it and this is single white female. Movie references that most people don't get. Even people that live through the era in which they come from. That's... You can always look to me for those references. And I will apologize every time. Because I am a monster of a human being. And these references are not great. Um, hey, Oren. How would you like to beat up... Um, Shelly. Allow me. There we go. We got him. All right, guys. So we're halfway through our stream for tonight, and. Just wanted to go over very briefly the fact that we are only 10 followers away from reaching our goal of 50 and having that amazing bonus streaming giveaway. So if you happen to know anybody, go ahead and send them a link, bring them on over. I mean, don't like force somebody to come over here who's not interested in Final Fantasy or any of the other franchises, but if you know someone who likes the games that we're going to be taking a look at, bring them on over and we'll discuss some stuff or make some jokes or have fun playing a game there's lots of stuff you can do hmm ambushed huh I really should have used that uh Oh god, what, uh, Encount None? Is that what it's called in, uh, no, that, why did I bring Yuna? That was what it was called in 8. Bug Spray? Was that what it was called in Pokemon? So that the Pokemon don't, like, come up to you and smell your Pokemon and start humping your leg? Is that, that that's what Pokemon's about, Right? Right? about getting your animals spayed and neutered and then having them uh, have sex with a ditto. Repellent. You're probably right. Ooh, hey, there's a guy over there. Let's go talk to that guy. Man, you were on it with the Google magic today. I'm assuming. Hmm... Perhaps we should break this. Your pain oh. shall be twofold. Wow. That was really mean. Hey, that's a way we can do it.
Team Gotta Catch Em All. Is that who we're playing right now? Eh, HP, whatever. It's a good guess. I mean, I almost feel like I should know. Um, I've played more than a couple of the Pokemans, but, uh, yeah. Didn't, uh, didn't remember that one. I played blue and red a lot, and then, uh, I stopped, I didn't play any until Diamond and Pearl, and then of those, I played the one that had the the mythic that looked like uh, Godzilla. The Scourge is called the Scar. Oh, nice. They say when the High Summoner cornered Sin, Sin tore the earth here asunder. The High Summoner and Sin struck each other down at the gorge's bottom. Lord Gandalf's sacrifice brought us the calm. I knew Gandalf. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Did they just recite the story of the Balrog? God, when did this game come out? 2002, I think. When did the first Lord of the Rings movie come out? No, that would have been too soon for them to throw that into the game. Um... Okay. I was more hoping that you would be the one that would challenge me to chocobo races. Hmm. Maybe we should switch over to our... Uh... Or capture weapons. So we can start getting that process online. Good job, good job. Alright. Because we don't need a whole bunch. I mean, it'd be nice to get them all for uh, our good friend in the arena, but uh, not necessary. Especially early on. As long as we were able to get a, a solid counting. And now that we've got some relatively powerful characters, I would say. I mean, none of them have completed their, except for Kumari, their main uh, area, but... Still. Death touch? That seems pretty rough play. I thought there was, uh, more than one race. Yeah, well, poison is around here. Because I definitely recall there being a race to get into... Um, the... God, I feel... 
dumb right now. The, uh, where you get the Magus sisters, the temple there. Oop, wrong side. Because that, that, I mean, that's a time trial, less of a race. Unless there's also, I don't recall if there's somebody else in it or not, but I definitely recall playing that. Nice. Oh, we should have really had Orin armor break him. But, that's fine. Oh man, once we get the flame flans all done, then we won't need to worry about them. Super nice. And pretty soon here, on top of that, we can get part of Kamari's ultimate weapon. Because uh, I want to say you can get that right away in, uh, or part of it at least, on your first walk up um, Mount Gagazette. Oh, the mechs can't be captured. What kind of nonsense is that? Thank you, kitty cat. That's how it's done. And Mount Gaw Gazette is our next big area that we get to go up. That's also where we get um, two of the most important of. Uh, Damn it. Oh well. Uh, what is it? Two of uh, uh, his most important blue magics. Uh, we can get uh, Mighty Guard up there, and um, which is easily the most important one, hands down. No question. I can't remember what the other one is. Honestly, we should be... Ooh, good job, Titus. Just in general, using uh, Kumari more and just Lancet everything we run across. Nope, no Mega Phoenix. Definitely don't need to use a Mega Phoenix here. Those are rare indeed. Yeah, but don't you need the cloudy mirror to get into uh, into the temple to actually get them? That's what I recall, at least. But, you know, a decade. Ooh. All right. You know, let's go ahead and... Haste. Nope. Orin. There we go. We're getting them good. Knocking them down. We knocked one of them down in one turn cycle. Or not turn cycle, uh, but before the enemy turn. So that's very good. And we're learning all sorts of uh, overdrive uh, acquisition methods. Enough. 
No time to waste. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot that it also speeds up there. Oh, hey. Can't come down. Why can't I come down here, sir? If I didn't know what I'm watching, duty's duty. I'm not moving. Well, unless something really unique happens, that is. Like... What? What really... Ah, oh, shit. Well, let's go for it. Nothing. Not a full lightning charge. Alright. Who barely. I always barely get that one. Please don't bad breath. Please don't bad breath. Please don't bad breath. Ooh, thank you. Ho, 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 ho. That should not have happened. We got really lucky that he did not use Bad Breath on either of his two turns. Hope you're not planning to cross this place on foot. Well, these planes are home to lots of wild chocobos. First, we must train them to be dependable mounts. I'm training some chocobos now, but they're not quite tame yet. I'm sorry I can't lend any of you out. Uh, walking might be faster than waiting for one of my chocobos. That's easier said than done. It's not that simple, you know. Are you sure you want to try? Of course. All right, come with me. It's simple. Just get from where you are to where I am before the time runs out. All right. Since you're riding a wild chocobo, it'll just run whichever way it feels like. Press the arrows to steer between me and the cho between the chocobo and me. Keep an eye on the clock and try not to miss the finish line. Don't hesitate to ask me about the controls if you need any help, okay? Let's begin. We'll shoot for a time of 12.8 seconds. Nope. Hey, we got it. Alright, we crossed the finish line. You clocked in at 12.03. Uh, from now on, you can go ride cho you can go chocobo riding whenever you please. Just ask me and he's yours. By the way, your chocobo is ready for some advanced training now. Here's a prize. Whenever you tie or break your record, you'll get a prize like this. All right, so now we can ride a chocobo whenever we feel like it. Ooh, there's an Albed Primer right there. Of course we get... F me, really? Okay. And this time we don't have... Alright.
Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for just using that horrible, horrible ability of yours. Alright. Has less armor. We do slightly more damage. It's gonna be good, right? We'll be fine. F me. Well. Ooh, thank you for getting rid of Wakas and Orins. Oh. Okay. Okay. Actually, that's a really bad idea, because that just increases the chance that he'll use bad breath on Kamari. So... Let's start with a Phoenix down on Waka. And then... No. An Albed Potion. It's our best bet to keep us alive. Kumari is not... Alright, Kamari, right now you are on healing detail. You've got what you needed from this, so now you're on heals. Woo! Two marbles caught. Mmm. That feels good. Yeah. And I want to say there's a way down onto that ledge, but I don't recall what it is. And I may be making that up completely from poor memories. In fact, by the fact, uh, in fact, because I didn't see one of these, I'm more inclined to believe that that is not actually the case. All right. This is a very cool looking temple. But you have to have a trading chocobo before you can get here. And there is no way that we can successfully... Well, can we? I don't think we can. I don't think there's any way that we can successfully defeat the Magus sisters at our current level. Um, because what I recall doing when I eventually did fight and beat them in my main playthrough is summoning everybody and using all of the ults on all my summons. 
But hey, we got a sphere. We got a... Chocobos come from the Forgotten Temple to test each other's speed and skill. You are listening to this. You have been accepted as a true writer. It is Chocobo custom that one must have a writer to challenge the champion Chocobo that stands near the sphere. Mount the bridal Chocobo waiting on the opposite side of the temple. Once you are astride, the challenger race will begin. Well, I mean... They're going to tell us what to do. We're going to head right back. Because. Yeah, we can't beat the Magus sisters. And. I'm not confident in my ability to win this Chocobo race right now. But that's okay. There's little monkey things here cat monkeys don't know what there are but they're cute they're kind of like uh, Momo from Avatar but not exactly a hey, chocobo friend all right so we don't have all the stuff that we need but we've done pretty good as far as uh, at least I hope so as, as far as what we need in here so let's go see and see if he's open for business yet so far you've collected six of the calm lands from the calm lands you have three to go you'll find weaker fiends nearby but go search the northwest for the big game All right, so we've got. All right, so we need the uh, the weird stone snake guys. Um, Shred corral, and we just need the rest of the weaker ones, don't we? Also, that giant spike ball is more or less the appearance of Waka's ultimate weapon. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Man, not having Pierce sucks. Oh, wow. Alright. Right in the gut. Yeah, more Flame Flan. Which is just a fun thing to say. Flame Flan. Yeah, go away. Anything? Nope. Alright, let's push on a little bit now that we've pretty much explored everything that there is to do. Ooh, that was a new one. Let's go ahead and delay that. And then we'll go ahead and try and silence you. Hey, look at that. Suck it. We're so good at our jobs.
What? Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with us. Uh, no. We have nothing to discuss with Maester Seymour. Yeah, so out of our way. Lord Seymour's commands must be obeyed. You will come. Will we? I warn you. The Maester doesn't need you alive. Oh, hey, look at this. Look at this thirsty boy. I think it's time for us to switch to regular weapons again. And take an entire turn doing so. F. delay you enough to get everyone else in? No. Oh, okay. Well, um, what about blind? Are you, well, you're not immune to it, but it didn't work. power break. Okay. Well, that was a whole lot of fun. Alright, let's go for the Stark attack again. No? God, you think I would get good at that at some point? Hey, uh, Kamari, can you come in here and specifically heal all of our dumb asses? Oh, you can? Thank you. Ah, uh, Kumari. Such a good friend. No? N nothing from that guy? Oh! -ho! Ho ho ho! Ow! That, um. That was a punch and a half. You know what? Let's go ahead and give Kumari haste. That seems good. Kumari, Kimari haste. That way he can do dumb shit. Like. Easily heal us. What? All right, well, we can use Waka Kumari, Kumari's ult. F me. Huh. Okay. Well. Time to jump. Jump around. 
Jump up, jump up, and get down. F me. This guy's a pain in the rear end. We're gonna need to buy more out bad potions at some point in the very near future. All right, he's made of rock. Hopefully, water. Or whatever, I guess that's Blizzard. It's something. It was a good hit. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it was a good strong hit. I'll have to take it because I've already done it and it's too late to travel back in time and fix that decision. Unless, do any of you own a time machine? Because that could be really handy right about now. No? Damn it. What if we wanted to say, I don't know, uh, go to the future the far future and meet a robot friend and then go far to the past and meet a cave woman who uses a, a big heavy club and then say I don't know um, somewhere in the not too distant past where we can meet a a knight let's say uh, who's been cursed into being oh I don't know maybe some sort of frog yeah yeah frog knight And then we can go get a dark elf wizard on our on our team. <laughs> God. If they ever put Chrono Trigger on Steam, I don't care whatever game we're playing. We're stopping and going and playing Chrono Trigger. I'm sorry, everybody, but that's how effing good Chrono Trigger is. God damn. This guy... You know what? Hey, Yuna? Can we borrow one of your friends? Like, Bahamut? Can he... I don't know, just give us a hand, because we are not up to this challenge. Seventeen thousand? Still not enough. Okay, okay. I see. 19,000 more hit points. Seventeen thousand. Hmm. You know what? Screw you. Biggest heavy hit I can do outside of my overdrive. Haha, -ha, that only did two damage. Some reason. Alright, well. So that was fun. Ooh, thanks for the Luna Curtain. Thank you for hitting Orin. That was very nice of you. Because now, we're going to bring in our good friend Valfor. Who's just going to... Oh, you're not going to be affected by that, are you? Damn it. 
we're not going to get like eight sonic wings off, are we? Yeah, no. Yeah, that... That didn't go very well. Hey, starting to learn it. And pretty soon we'll have to change to a different one. Um, hey, Lulu. This guy doesn't really have any... We'll do Blizzra. Five? Not bad. Not spectacular, as you just saw, but not bad. Hmm. Don't want to keep having to use these things, but they're just so good. Oh, sorry, Lulu. Sorry, not sorry. Your weird Lolita belt dress is weird. And it does not fit in with everybody else's clothing style. Hey, you know what? Let us take... a grenade and mix it with a grenade. How about that? Wait. How did I get flash flood with a grenade and a grenade? I am very slightly confused by this. Shouldn't have been like a whole bunch of explosives? Like a cluster bomb sort of situation. Alright, well. That was... Productive. Um, that boss pretty much ruined our entire team comp in terms of... Like, our capabilities. Um, he, he, he wrecked us. I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. We, I mean, we won. We, but we got rickety wrecked. But let's just face it. It's not a big deal. It happens to every Final Fantasy team at some point in their career. They overstep their bounds and get just, you know, turned into jelly. But somehow manage to ever so slightly pull out a win. Anything else over here? No? This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? Uh, yeah, she does. Alright, we're... What's in the valley, precious? Ooh, there's a person over here. So that's a thing. Hey. Um, this land where Lady Yokon trained is sacred to the Crusaders. Lady Yokon was a member of the Crusaders before becoming a summoner. Neat. Okay. 
Titus, can you step in, please? Hmm. Poison. I see. You have a shtick. I too have a shtick. I hit people with swords and sharp sticks. That that's my gimmick. If I were a wrestler, they would call me Sharp Stick Man. That would be a terrible wrestler name. Not gonna lie. Not great at naming things. Especially characters. You can ask any of my D&D players. Or any of my DMs. That I... I that's one of the few things I always ask for is, like, a naming assistance. Because I'm bad at it. Ooh, there's a spooky cave! And, not only is it not on Steam, but the, uh, what is it, Anthologies? Or is it Chronicles? I can never remember which one had six in Chrono Trigger. Um, is kind of a rare PlayStation title. Not, like, super rare and, like, impossible to find, just kind of rare. Rare enough that it's actually a challenge to find it. Not impossible, but, like, you actually have to go looking for it. No, I do want you. What the hell am I... Blades? That looked like it hurt. Yeah, good job, guys. Good job. Alright, so... Our next step forward... I mean... Kind of... Is a horrible place. But we get this game's version of Odin from it. And it's not that long of a trek in... Chronicles, okay. Um, and it's not that long of a trek into the place, but the conversation tree that we have with the Faith and then the subsequent battle is kind of long. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back up here a little ways. And we're going to go and run around uh, the Calm Lands gathering a few more um, fiends as well as hopefully some levels so that we can just go in there and wreck his face. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not like it's impossible to find. It's just one of those games that if you want it, you have to go looking for it. It wasn't a huge seller. Um, which is probably the main reason why it's, why it would be considered rarer. It's because it wasn't such a big seller. Um, but really that's about it. When you do find it, it's usually not super expensive. Um... They're, they tend to be in decent shape. At least every time I've seen one, like one that somebody owns, it's almost always in good shape. Huh. 
Um, I mean, we don't need Final Fantasy VI. We've handled that one. All right, got the shred. And the cutscenes, having done been done by Akira Toriyama's studio for the for Chrono Trigger, are beautiful. Assuming you don't mind his art style. If you don't like his art style, like Mike Grahulik of Penny Arcade fame, um, then you are not gonna like. It. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about that particular point. If you like Akira Toriyama's art style, then you'll probably like Chrono Trigger and its uh, PlayStation remake. If you don't, then you won't, regardless of how good the storyline is. And it's... Whew, Certainly not flawless. There are a lot of things in that storyline that make no goddamn sense. But, you know, they were kind of trying something new out. How are we doing? Seven, we've got two more to go. So we need to find the big snake guys. And what else? We don't have any bombs. And it's showing us on this screen. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. Never mind, I'm dumb. So we need the the serpent thingies. What else? Have we seen the other one? Is there a floating eye monster in this area? I, I don't recall there being one, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. And here's the most important thing about this is this grows from just this area to everywhere. Good job. We got ourselves another Corral. I hate those things. Not as much as I hate marbles. I mean... Marlboros, man. Whew. They are nasty. Always have been, always will be. And I hate fighting them. They hate fighting me. Actually, I'm not sure that they hate fighting me. I think they like to fight me, because they totally tilt me out. Yeah, good job. Alright. So, we're coming into the home stretch of this particular stream, not this game or the channel as a whole, just tonight's episode. So, I'm going to start rattling off our little... I know you can get a, uh, a digital version pretty cheap. I've <laughs> seen that because I, I was looking into it. You can find the digital version for the PlayStation Network for like 10 bucks usually. Like it's dirt cheap uh, for the game. But uh, well, last time last time I looked, which was a while ago, I'm not going to lie, um, it was like Still 60 bucks, which, all things considered, is not terrible for a semi-collector's item from like 
What? Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Uh, but anyway, uh, I want to thank you all for coming and hanging out with me tonight. Um, this stream would not be what it is without you guys. Um, and I would not be sitting here playing this game if you guys weren't in chat hanging out with me. If it was just me playing this game, I mean, I'd probably be playing it, but I probably wouldn't be streaming it if you guys weren't here. Um, everything that I do, the trying to get us up to 50, trying to get, I'm spreading the word out as far and wide as communities that I'm in um, and there's a couple of other couple of you guys that are doing it as well um, and I thank you guys very much this is not this stream is nothing without you guys um, and I especially want to thank those that come and hang out and participate in chat every night um, tonight I would like to thank particularly Grim Reaper, Slade, Mr. Henry and Leviath, 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 Leviathan 1, and Div Wilson. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. Um, now, before I actually turn the stream off, I'm going to talk about our giveaway again. Once we reach that goal of 50 followers, we're going to have ourselves a bonus stream where I'm going to be playing the last episode, or season? Season, that's what it is. The last season that is currently out for... Tale Tales, a walking, the Walking Dead. It's called New, a New Frontier. Um, and during that bonus stream, I'm going to be giving away a copy of said game, along with Psychonauts, an amazing game that everyone should play and own, and three twenty dollar wrong way, three twenty dollar Steam gift cards. So, if you know anybody that enjoys the Final Fantasy series. Or that thinks they might enjoy it. I mean, we're taking kind of a slightly critical look at these things, but it's mostly just for fun. Uh, bring them on over, and I'll do my best to convince them to stay. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Hope you'll join me again tomorrow at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., where we will continue on with Final Fantasy X. And hopefully, we'll get that new Aeon that I was talking about earlier. So, have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow.